everybody, my name is Connor. Today I'm gonna be reacting slash commentating about this mother that makes their family wash clothes in the swimming pool. I don't know anything about this besides ex this is like an extreme cheapskakes kind of um thing. So yeah. Uh, by the way, none of the stuff I say is is all either one satire or two like for either one commentary, comedic, whatever. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just putting that out there in case some people get offended by. This, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let me just get this right. And my dad decides to start doing something outside the second I make a video. One second. Also, everybody, I'm trying to make two videos today. I might want to make two videos for the rest of the week or the rest of the month or the rest of the year. Uh, just tell me what you want. And yeah, so if you like two videos a day, that'd be so cool because I love making videos. So just tell me down below if you like the two videos a day. I like to go and spin on a little bike to get my workout on. Getting on it and pedaling, I'm just in that zone and I get burning. You feel the burn? I'm listening to my tunes. It just feels good to exercise, and I just love it. All right, here's your stuff. I see Jenny probably two times a week. When Jenny first came, I thought she was in the market to purchase a piece of exercise equipment. Most customers will come in and uh, you know demo the equipment maybe two or three times before making a purchase. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it very much. Good luck this season. After six or seven visits, I realized that Jenny wasn't here to demo the equipment. My habits may be extreme to some people, but I show it off to everybody, whatever it is. It makes me happy. Bye. Tell her bye. Bye. Instead of going to gyms, I just go to these sporting goods stores for about 45 minutes a day. All right. See it. Going to a gym, paying for a membership. I mean, that's like $75 a month. It doesn't cost me a dime to work out in that sporting goods store. Okay, it's actually pretty, to be honest, it's actually pretty smart using equipment like in this store already. Like, I don't know if that's allowed, but they seem to be fine with it, so... Hey, if she can do it, she can do it. It's better than paying for the full thing. And to be honest, that was pretty smart of her. I've always been really cheap, and it's just kind of been something that I have always done. I just get a good feeling out of not spending a lot of money, but yet still accomplishing whatever goal I have. I absolutely hate spending money on things that I can't see the next day if it's gone. On the average, most people, they fill up their tanks once, twice a week. It can cost $60, $70 to fill up a tank. And then you go home and park your car in the garage and you may not go nowhere. So you just spent $60 to sit. Hey, can I get $3.36 worth of gas? You sure can. See, for the car thing, I don't drive, so I don't really know. Like. I don't feel like going to driving school. Like, I could be driving. I could have a license right now, but I'm just, that's not, that doesn't really interest me. I'm going to get it in March, next March, because I'll be 17. So, I'm going to get my license when I'm 17. But, see, it's good to restrict yourself, but there's a lip, like a line. Like, I'd rather spend a little more money and not risk getting stuck on the side of the road running out of gas. That's just me. I don't know. This is my toilet where I save money on water. Best way to save money is water displacement. Putting a brick in the back of it's gonna make the water level go up a little bit and it's not gonna use as much water. Since I've been putting bricks in it, I've noticed a huge change in our water bill. We use 350 less gallons a month. Okay, it's just the line I was talking about. That's just gross. It looks gross. Instead of the toilet bowl, it just looks gross. I wouldn't touch it. Also, a lot of these people can afford this stuff. They just choose not to. Like, I could see if you don't have anything, but it seems like these people and, like, a lot of the people that are, like, on Extreme Cheapskakes... Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think so. They can afford it. They just don't want to, I guess. They just don't want to pay for it. I don't know. I would never do this. As you noticed, all my pops, and I don't have a job. <laughs> I put in applications. I'm just waiting for a response. 
I need money. Please subscribe. <laughs> When we bought the house in 2006, we paid cash for it, and we saved money by doing so. And the pool came with the house. I still keep the pool because I got three kids, and we don't go on a lot of expensive vacations. So I figure, you know, that's kind of like a vacation, just go out and get in the pool. We've tried to figure out every way possible to save money on running and keeping up this pool. One way to save money on this pool is to reduce the size of the pool. It's just like putting a brick in a toilet. I save money. I recycle my plastic containers and I fill them up with sand. Hey, I'll take that. Yes, let me go. All Let's right. go, hot too. Go. Well, thing, that's like the pool thing's like smart and dumb at the same time. Like I wouldn't want to be swimming with all that stuff in the pool but at the same time i understand where she's coming from I'm like that's actually pretty cool like you have less water but it's still like at the same height but i don't know <laughs> just i don't know i don't get this really like it's just kind of weird but they're saving money so my dad had a small business and he had to find ways to get through a lot of hard times and he showed me how to think outside the box Went through some hard times and it influenced me as a child growing up to deal with how to be a problem solver. We grew up with that idea of just make it work. I'm doing my laundry in the pool because the chemicals that are in the pool are similar to the ones that are found in laundry detergents. Running the washing machine costs money. Washing clothes in the pool is weird. It makes me feel like I'm in 1912. It feels like, oh my gosh, when's Benjamin Franklin gonna come along and invent the electricity and all that? It's very expensive to maintain this pool, and I've done a lot of research to find ways to save money on it. The cleaners and everything cost a lot of money. The average pool owner spends about $3,200 a year to maintain their pool. Instead of using regular pool cleaners to clean our pool, we use baking soda. Bacon soda is the same compound as pool cleaners. It's a lot cheaper, though. Bacon soda is like 40 cents a pound, and the chemicals are like $1.10 a pound. Borax incre increases the pH in the pool. Is borax okay to just be putting in the water while your kids are in there? Like, I don't feel like that's a good idea. I don't know. I don't really know chemicals like that, but... I know pools have a lot of chemicals in them, but like, if I had kids swimming in the water, I wouldn't just go put a bunch of borax. I just feel like that's not good. Also, not good to wash your clothes. I don't. I wouldn't do that either. I just feel like it's another line that shouldn't be crossed. If that makes any sense. But not me, so I don't know. The biggest cost of running this pool is filtering the water. I have to filter the water in my pool or else it'll get nasty. This is my problem. Each month, running this pool filter costs us an extra $200. Homes with pools use about 49% more energy than those without. What, what, what's going on here? If I could get you to just hold this exactly like it is. Okay. Hang on, watch your fingers. If I build a bike generator to run my pool filter, it will cost me nothing on my power bill. This is definitely gonna work because it's gonna take a lot of pedaling. Jenny's pedal power turns the belts, which rotates a car alternator. As the alternator spins, it creates an electrical current. See, look, this is focus. She's smart. She knows how to do things. Their house looks nice. They have a nice pool. Why do all that extra stupid stuff? I don't know. It just seemed a little extra. Well, if you're going to buy a bike to do this, why not just buy the bike and not go to the store every day to do it? If you're going to get the bike anyway, unless you're going to go over there and get all the electricity and like put it in a battery. 
I don't know. I mean, you gotta think outside the box sometimes. That's for sure. Yeah. Which Jenny hopes can provide enough power to run her pool filter. So how much is the bike? The bike is $199, $200, which is a good deal. Yeah, I just can't do it. When he told me it was $200, I just, it just hit me. I wish I could, but I can't give it away. So overall, this was pretty strange, but not the worst I've seen from TLC. She's smart. She knows how to do things. At least she didn't go dig to the dumpster for food. That's all I have to say. And yeah. Also, I think I probably mentioned in the beginning of this video, but I'm trying to do two videos a day. I made two videos a day today. I'm going to try to edit and post it tonight. So... I want to see how this works out, so tell me what you guys think, and make sure to comment down below. I will be picking somebody to shout out, and today I have somebody to shout out from today's earlier video. Right here, Josiah. He commented on my video first, and so nice. So, yeah, so shout out to him, and if you comment on today's video, you can get a shout out, so, well today, today, like this video. <laughs> You can get a shout out, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to give a like, subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me. So check it out. Check out my social medias down below. Turn the notification bell because sometimes you'll get notifications, I guess. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.